Hi. Why is my controller not working? My controller is not plugged in. That would probably do. Um, we're playing Cosmic Shake. Um, I suppose you could have figured that one out from the title. But... We were in Halloween World, if I remember correctly. If the game remembers correctly. Okay, no. We're back in Bikini Bottom, I guess. Did it save what we got here? Yeah, it's alright. Um, so there was one in this. There was a Dutchman boy in the theater we had to find. Cute. I forgot about how the platforming works in this again. You fall way faster when you. I I I, I kind of wish um Balloon Patrick did a little bit more. Like that's one of my like weaker like complaints about the game. Like uh like uh I'm kind of like two player mode where like Balloon Patrick has like a moon set of his own would obviously be honestly be really cool. But digress. We already did this, but we'll try it again just to be. Safer. Actually, maybe this is what I was like continually failed at yesterday. I don't know. We missed it again. I have to stop doing that. I just don't wanna... I don't like balance beams. Yeah, okay, so I already did that, clearly. Just a touch me, kid. Alright, we gotta find one more. Um, we can check the museum, but there's like so little shit in the museum. It's probably not there. The museum in this game is disappointingly tiny. Like this is it. It's basically. I don't know why this is like a whole level world to itself. It really isn't. Now oh, there's that. Oh well, you know, speak of the devil. Just go around the corner and you know, we gotta find a good noodle star, but. So that's it for Dutchman, and that's it for gold coins here, I think, right? Yeah, that's the last gold coin here. It's a bit sad. I like this world. I do wish some of the worlds just had, like, an ex- Like, if this was, like, as long as the actual rock bot- Well, not the actual- The other rock bottom museum, like, that'd be cool. But this is, like, tiny, and there's barely anything here. Up there. I mean, I guess you come in up there, but yeah, that doesn't really do much. Really suits you. Follow up. This is as scary at all. Yeah, so I'm just gonna return to Dutchie. Um, is there anything else in here? I mean, I've got all the gold coins. The only thing that could be left is a good noodle star. I think we have to go down the slide to get up there. Like, that's what I mean. Like, there's a lot of warp points in the map, but a lot of them are, like, just really short and, like, not really a thing of itself, which is a little bit lame, but it's okay. I mean, Candyville is big, at least, but the rest of it, not a ton. I kind of hate how the slide, um, the, the, um, uh, the trampolines on the slide actually just kill your speed. It should be like the ones in, like, BFBB where they're, like, super scripted and give you, like, a lot of, um, velocity and shit. I've never seen a fish like 
pretty sure I already got this first check. This gun is so annoying. Yeah, I already did this, clearly. So I think I already went this way as well, but we'll check. Yeah, we definitely already went this way. This is back up into Candyville. I did the same shit where I went into Candyville again. That's Candyville. Why do I keep going backwards here? I'm so confused. That's the Shadow Theater, so it is this way. Flag. Oh, is that the Dutchman I'm turning back in? So I'm on the same map as the. I'm back in Candyville now? Is that what I'm getting? Does this like go past Candyville again? Or what? I'm so confused. Because right now Dutchie is like loaded in. Because he's given me the mission complete flag. At least I assume that's what that is. And Dutchie's in Candyville, so. Yeah, this is Candyville. Well, this isn't, but up here. He goes to Candyville. I'm doing a confusion. I guess, yeah, I guess they're, I wonder if you can pre sequence break this, because it's just like goes up here from Candyville. It's a big ass map. Yeah, more cosmic shake. Doing some post game content. All right, where the fuck is this good noodle star? Eh, a lot of jelly, but it's not really what I came here for. A little dabble, do you? I wanted a good noodle star. I don't give a shit about your jelly. Nope, it's not up here. I went all the way this way for nothing. I are disappointment. Oh, well, let me go in the door and see if it's in here. Free shabaki do ya? I have no idea what that means, but I, I appreciate you saying it nonetheless. Yeah, this is just the museum. There ain't shit here. E -oi. E -oi. I already did that button. All I have left here is one good noodle star. And I think that's all the content um, in Halloween Rock Bottom. 
Unless there's like a full on side quest I didn't get, but I doubt it. Uh, I don't think it's here, but I also don't know where it is. Oh. A little dabble, yeah. Oh, this guy's falling. I don't know what's the point of falling, like, platforms when they fall that fast. Like, it's just, like, discouraging you from, like, looking around or what? Because it's not like it's... If you're just moving normally, it's not like it's hard to avoid that. Go figure. I can't look in high enough for that. What am I aiming my bubble at right now, though? Why is my bubble, like, perpetually aimed at something to the right of the screen? Did you, did you do the button on top of the light show? What do you mean? So where am I right now? Is this... Candyville, Snare Scary Streets. What's Scary Streets? Have I been there? Oh, it's just this. Yes, I have been here. What are these for, though? Like, actually. Why, why are there completely random friggin' trampolines here? I, I do not understand. Why is a candy bar? That's like a glitch or something. I'm gonna go turn in Dutchie and maybe... I'm using Candyland on the light show thing. I'm not sure what you mean by the light show thing, TBH. Certainly more scary than the ones you have. Wear it, if you dare. Thank you, Mr. Dutchman. Now I have to go. There's many a rope in need of a good knot. Paste. Oh, there he goes. I guess he can... Yo, dude, this guy just bitches about people will dressing up like the, the Flying Dutchman and then he gives me a Flying Dutchman costume. Is he high? Oh, in the in the shadow theater. Yeah, we can go back there. I can't I can't believe this bro literally has a whole mission. It's like, oh, you know, make sure they don't wear my costume, and then here's my costume as the reward. How does that make any sense? Okay. I'm 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 putting I'm putting Maid Bob back on. By the way, where is she? There she is. A little that that button. I've already hit that button. I'm like 90% sure. Although it is still beckoning me like I haven't, so maybe I still haven't. I don't know. I still don't know the intended route through here. This is one of two places in the game where I, I sequence broke it on my fucking casual playthrough because I could not figure out the way you were supposed to go. Finishing up work. I hope you're done soon. I mean. The Krusty Krab Pizza is the pizza for you and me. It's like the third time I've done this, so I really think I've already done it, but.
See, why does it disappear there? See, there was like there was like an extra hook in a in a glide ring, but it disappears. Did I miss a flaming ring or something? Does it, does it disappear if you miss a flaming ring? Maybe. Is that what it is? Oh, because I did that before, and I'm like, oh, I guess I guess I already did that because it ended early. Good call. Why can I not hit that? Go. Oh. Hello. Hi. Hello. Give me a, something to aim at here. Okay. Sure. Because he's auto aiming at the fucking enemies instead. Go away. Get a get a fucking boyfriend. My bubble is glitched. Look at that shit. Alright, I'm just gonna. Nope, oh, still glitched. And I just like. I'm gonna save and reload, because my bubble's fucked. No, that's the wrong save, you dingus. No, my bubble is still fucked. Why is my bubble fucked? Went for my bubble. It's not working. May have to restart the game entirely. Like, hard reset, because right now it's fucking around. And I guess you can't jump back from that one. Blender, we, we we stand a creative bitch. Well, I hope you have fun with that today, and if you get some stuff done, that's awesome, and if you, you know, another day, that's perfectly fine, too. Are you sure I'm hitting that, though? Like, how sure? Or is, or, or is my fucking copy glitched again? I just to wait out the timer. Good luck at work, queen. Stop emailing me. Oh. Hey, good luck. I mean, I think I already said that. I'm tired. I am not hitting that. There's no way I'm hitting that. My game is glitched or some shit. I'm not hitting that, though. I'm not hitting that. I'm so not hitting that. What the fuck? I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to get more height there. I'm, like, not hitting that ring in the slightest. Anger. I kind of hate the Grand Slam, because it's like slower than the regular Slam, and I don't want to do it.
That's just kind of a lame ability compared to some of the other. I'm not hitting that. This is fucked somehow. I don't know how, but it's fucked. I either have already done this and the game's lying to me, or... I've already done this? I don't know. But this is not working correctly, because there's no way I'm hitting that ring. I mean, just hitting a ring- let me try to hit a ring here. You can literally touch the ring! No, my game is fucked. My game is fucked. It's not hitting the ring. My game is just fucked. But either that I've already done that one and it's just not showing me, or this good noodle star is somewhere else and life hates me. One of the two. <sighs> Where the fuck is it? Um... I don't think it's there, but I don't think it's here either. I've been- I've tore this place apart pretty good. This guy's dressed like a pig. I like this costume. We need to find a way into the museum. Only way in is through the racetrack. You know, like a regular museum. I got a rock. Me too. Epic. You really are my best friend. Candy, candy, candy. Yes, I do. Thank you for saying so. I think I've already done this, too. Yeah, I've definitely already done this as well. It's not where you're supposed to go. I see that now. No, this is... I wasn't supposed to do this. I've already done that. Where the fuck is this last good noodle star? A little that'll do ya. Uh, it's not on the fucking snail race, is it? Well, SpongeBob, that's all right. Don't. I don't care about the time, I just want to look if there's a good noodle star hiding on this track somewhere. This is the last place it could be. Well, not the last place it could be, is it? Mm-hmm. 
It's not on there. This is this is the part I don't like about exploration. When you're when you're down to one collectible and you can't fucking find it. I love it when my fingers work. We've been up there. Can I get up there? Corollary question. Oh, yeah, I've been up here, I think. Oh, yeah, you do it with this button. Definitely already done that button. This good doodle star is... It's a bitchy-ass fucking place, let me tell you. use these stealth guys at all. As where spot was up there. Remember it. It's this Candyville again, so it's not in bus stop. We, we've we've officially satisfied ourselves with if the Gudino Star is probably not in the bus stop. Let's try the Shadow Theater again. I feel like that's that's the one I haven't the one larger area I haven't really searched at all. I mean, it's not true. I've still searched it a ton, but I've searched it less than the other places. Maybe why is the Shadow Theater checkpoint up here though? I don't even know where this is. I guess they're trying to show you the button up there or something, I don't know. He gets un Groucho Marx's once uh once Dutchy left. Oh it is possible to jump out of that. Thank you. Yeah, fucking who's brave like me. over there. That's, that's, that's the challenge I've already done. Ain't shit here. Why do I have two conflicting set of mu sets of music playing right now? I legitimately don't know where this is. You yeah, have four out of five. I'm still missing one. Where the fuck is it, though? Oh, it's somewhere on the slide, maybe. Let me ch let me look on the slide again. Oh, that was not really a worthwhile jump, but all right. Yoink. Gary is so 
That's the way I came in. Yes, it is. Okay. I do not know where this good noodle star is. Wait, so we've already checked this, but... This, this boots you back out into Candyland, right? What if we go this way? I just looked back. What? Did I do a loop there? Oh wait, I did. I think I caught up on the main slide there, maybe. I'm being railroaded right now. I'm just in like a random loop here. I can't. I can't. There's no escape for me. Is this good noodle star? I like the t pair of glowing red eyes down there in the distance. That's a good. That's a good touch. Fuck. I knew I could count on you, Patrick. What is that? Oh, that's a re that's a recoil. Hey, buddy. I don't really know what you're doing, but I'm proud of you for doing it. Yeah, that's mean shit. Where is this good noodle star? Ah! Somebody tell me where the fifth. I am this close to Googling where the good noodle stars in Halloween are. Because I legitimately don't know. I mean, I want to play this legit, but I don't. also don't want to be here for 30 hours. What happens if you go down here? Flying is what happens. Alright. I love the disgusting tug noise he makes when he jumps. I forgot. Full emoji. Can you like Google it and then give me subtle hints? Or at least like tell me which fucking world it's in, or which which uh, chapter or section checkpoint it's in. It's not. It's not outside the museum. We already established that. Well, I think we already established that. Unless it's like on the fucking roof or something, and I'm really blind, but.
Uh, I'm just gonna Google it. Fuck, I'm not. I'm getting sick of Halloween music. <laughs> Halloween, rock bottom, good, good noodle stars location. One on the bus stop. Climb with the rock on the right side. Got that one, I think. There's two in Candyville. One in the Shadow Theater. Got that one. From the room with enemies, proceeding into the next room, use the jumping pad to reach the next slide. From there, go right. Done that. So I think it's one in Candyville. Take the path going right and use the jumping pad. I think it's the one in Candyville I haven't found. It's really, it's really in Candyville. That's the one level I fuck, fucking tore up. So they say go to the right and take the jumping pad. Is what I'm told. It's a random website I looked it up. Was any help? So, that, that's one Google I did. I, I made one Google so far. So, there's there's a start back here, behind this building, but I'm pretty sure I already got this one. Unless my save is fucked up. If I, like, if my save is fucked up, then this counts as getting it, because I knew there was one back here. Yeah, there's one next to the Dutchman kid here, I remember that, but... Motherfucker. Right there? What the fuck? I hate life, bro. Alright. How do I get up there, though? That's not it. Oh, I should have taken the hook. Get up there now. Epic. Um Wasn't there a hook here? Where's the hook? Other side. This is not it. Where am I going? It's on the other side. So no, that hook's not how you get there. How do you get there? You just, you just jump down from the fucking museum slide. I tell you what. Thank you, I do. How do I get there? Not from that side. I, I guess from the other side. But I have to actually look and see which side I'm on then. So, from this platform, I think. Wait, no, it's that hook. Maybe. Can I reach that, though? There we go. That's the entirety of, yeah, that's the entirety of Halloween Rock Bottom. Alright, well, one level. 100%. Where's... Oh, there she is. What other costumes we got? Let me Spongebob for a while. SpongeBob, you deserve a star yourself. Aw, Mrs. Pop, that's all that I ever wanted. And a driving license, of course. 
And restoring Bikini Bottom. And longer work days. Oh, Neptune. Fine, alright. What are you in my pocket? I'm going back to Maid Bottom, actually, too. I rechanged my mind. Alright, what next level we want to do? Well, there's sticky notes here we could do, but I don't really feel like it. There's nothing we have to do in Jelly Globe World. Is that real? I mean, we can find the last few gold coins. There's there are no side quests or anything there. Let's go and see if there's a side quest. It's gonna be a dis bit disappointing if there's like literally no post-game content in Glove World other than me. Oh, get to have some fun. I just hope we don't run into Glovey. Relatable. Oh, I'm not ready to see him yet. I still need some space. Relatable. I've already done this. I know. Really good over there. So SpongeBob and Patrick return once more to their favorite theme park. Thankfully, without a maniacal mascot tormenting them now. This time, they can face the thrills together. Ouch! The glove has an ass cheek. There is a Smitty quest here, or, or side quest. Who's giving it to me, though? I guess it's loaded in, but it's not um, on this part yet. Alright. I was gonna say, it'd be a bit disappointing if there was no side quest here. Hog, let's go. I stand Reb out of shit content. I don't know. I'm tired, okay. Subscribe to my OnlyFans. You know Why is there why is there film crew here? Oh, I thought they, this is literally just the models from. No, nope. still gotta find my OnlyFans. Wait, this just took me back to the start, didn't it? What the fuck? What was the point of that? I don't understand why these guys are here. Oh, is that like a shortcut? Is that like a shortcut that opens up after the fact or something? Sticky, sweet. What? Oh, it's a warp. Alright. I thought I died there. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, he's over there. Is it Glovey? What, where am I at right now? Is this, this is Main Street, and then it's Glove World, Jair, Central Power, Ferris, Glove Glove. It's Glove. a pretty short fucking level, one deal. I do wish this level was significantly longer, because it's good. But well, you can't always get what you want. You can't always get what you want. Eh. You know, there's but I don't think there's anything back here. Uh -oh, not good. The best time to wear a striped sweat is not in Arizona because it's 110 degrees in summer and it's very hot. Meep. 
Wait. That's... Is he at the start? Is he literally at the entrance and I missed him? He is! I'm fucking gay! Holy shit. Let's go. Wait, is that, a? Uh, is that fucking John O'Hurley? Is that the fucking King Neptune voice actor? I'm so happy to see you again. Don't worry, I won't throw anything at you this time. I think it is. It sounds like him. Anyway, oh, I complete all the new challenges around Club World, and I'll give you a prize almost as handsome as yourself. Lovey Glove confirmed, gay. They souped up the whack of love, so it's extra hard now. You should try to beat the high score. Hey. Bro. Why are the RFK machines, like, violently aggressive? Let's go. It sounded like him. Um, you know what? I'm glad they I'm glad they used him outside of just um outside of just King Neptune. Cause, cause Glo that's honestly a really good voice for Glovey Glove, I feel like. Like he makes this level. Come on, fuck you. I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say, I don't think the- I love the karate kick, but I don't think these karate kick challenges are very fun because it's just an exercise and hoping that you auto-target onto the right thing, basically. Bro. You set a new high score. Next. You get gold coins for that too. I'm not gonna lie, the put the, the the side content in this world kinda sucks. I love this world, but it's too short and and it Yes, that's my opinion. Try your hand at the strong glove. It's been beefed up to the extreme. Oh, the music, though. <laughs> Got that mage strength. There's, there's literally one gold coin left. Aww. Glove World, I love you, but you disappoint. You did it. You made this whole glove so if I, okay, if I get the gold coin from this, I'm gonna cry. Oh, never. What? Holy shit, it's gay. It's even gayer, SpongeBob. That was not what I was expecting to get. Rainbow Bob. That is horrifying. I'm horrified. Let's keep it. This is literally just SpongeBob with a fucked up texture. It's literally just Sponge. The fucking purple lamp can't help themselves with the fucking saturation, I tell you what. Why, 
when 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 trans flag SpongeBob? When 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 do we get the white, blue, and pink SpongeBob? That's what I wanna know. Why is there a film crew here? They're in the wrong level. Is that like a glitch, or are they supposed to be here now? Like, is it supposed to be like, oh, everyone's like back everywhere since the like, cosmic shake is fixed, or like what? Because I don't understand why there's there's Karate Island people here. Well, I was kind of concerned if the side quests give costumes, and these are the only two costumes I got from them. Does that mean these are the only two um, side quests? That's a bit disappointing if so. If it happened on the two levels that have side quests and none of these other levels do. Oh, I'm not. Let me jump. Good call. I am now in content gen. I say, or I'm in content gen. I am now in content gen. Feel free to join. I already rode every ride. Twice. I'm still just a bit disappointed there's no Fiery Fisto Pain auto scroller. I recognize that nobody else would have liked that. But like I said, I would have liked that. Me. Did they remove it? Come on. That, that like, ah, uh, there should have been one. That, that I. Out of all the worlds that could have used like a slide or a long like auto scroller to just like fill up time, it, this one could have. Like yes, it's an auto scroller, nobody likes them, but like have a glovey glove taunting you the whole time. It would be so good. My two my two biggest complaints is this world is really fucking short, and um I'm I would have liked had there been a, like a whole final level that's like you working with Neptune to fight Cassandra because you like coming out and doing that completely random fucking trash sorting minigame and then just like oh I'm evil now SpongeBob and then a pretty lame three hit boss fight with Squidward and that's the end of the game like I wish the ending was a bit more involved in that but like okay, Global is a very good world but it's too short and the ending is too short like. I, I feel like this game didn't necessarily stick the landing, which is a bit sad, but yeah, it's okay. God, what we could have had. I would, I would, I would have been super into that actually. Like have like a, have like, Hyper Patrick and annoying like you know what are you doing? You ingrates, LinkedIn. That would be so good. I would, I would super vibe with that. It's like uh. Oh no, I was gonna make a reference to that literally nobody would have got for me. I feel like if they did that, they would have to do the Plankton double cross at the end of the game. So like, after Cassandra does her like, magic jelly stuff and stop her, Plankton's like, Cry Spongebob, I'm the evil one now, and I'm using the jelly to take over the world. I don't think they would have to do that. I mean, there's there's already like multiple episodes and movies and shit where like Plankton teams up with Bob and shit because for a greater evil. Like, you know, how is he supposed to take over the world if Cassandra ends it? You know. No, they stop it so he can take over the world because no one else can but Plankton. Nah, I, I I would I would not vibe with a Plankton double cross if. If they did that, I would want Plankton to be like legit and like not turn on you at the end, like he does in Sponge Out of Water. And some other things. He doesn't. I don't think he turns on them and sponge out of water. Does yeah, that's he? what I'm saying. He doesn't. But I'm saying they, if if he was in this game like that, they should do that where he doesn't turn on them. I love the twitchy jump because I'm moving upwards in the game with the new physics, right? All right, is it somewhere around here? Oh, that hurts you. I'm not gonna lie, Rainbow Bob is a fucking eyesore, and I kind of vibe with it. Bro, I just got fucking auto scrollered to the fucking so final boss fight. SpongeBob must once again rescue his best friend. From the I, I didn't even want to do that. I wanted to explore that platform up there, but I got railroaded into this shit. Another game's gonna be like, you cannot, uh, you cannot teleport during a challenge. So I've got to fucking beat Globby again.
That's stupid. I don't like that. TBH. Like, there, there, there could be a little box that, that pops up that says, Fight Glovey Glove? Question mark? And if you say no, then you just, like, don't do the warp. Like, they used to do that for all the bosses, so you don't accidentally get railroaded into doing a boss fight you don't want to do and not being allowed to leave. I don't know why you're not allowed to leave. I can understand not doing it during the main quest, but, like, once you're in post-game, I should be able to come and go from bosses as I please. Like, there's no reason I have to stay here and do this. I guess we get to enjoy John O'Hurley putting on the weirdest fucking voice on there. I don't know who it is, but... Okay. They should update this game and just like add more worlds. Like they probably won't, like let's be real. But like they absolutely could. Like it's the kind of game where you could do that. But you think they might do DLC? I, I mean, yeah, let's be real. It would probably be, like, paid DLC. It would be hype if it was free, but I don't think it would be. But, I mean, if they were long and good, yeah, I'd, I'd pay, like, five bucks for an extra level. Because I think the game has good bones, and, like... Now, of course, the problem with that is that, you know, you'd have to get all the guilt, the whole voice acting gang back together and everything, and no one's going to want to do that. Like, voice acting is expensive, and a level without voice acting would be cringe as fuck, so... Cause like, 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 I don't know, I just wish this game was a smidge longer. Cause it's not short, per se, but it also feels a little bit shorter than maybe it should have been. But. You know what, I I appreciate them emphasizing like the quality content or shitty content. What's up? I feel like the ending kind of rushed after a while. Oh, the ending is very, like, very rushed and kind of lame, yeah. Glove World, uh... Help Forest and the final boss just kind of happen really fast. Yeah, I mean, Glove World and Kelp Forest are fine. Like, I enjoy these. Um, I wish I wish Glove World was longer. Kelp Forest is long enough. I mean, it's not super long, but it's fine. Um, but oops. But I mean, they kind of just spring Cassandra. On. Yeah, it's lame. Like the final world. I would, I would hope you'd get like a whole like big final platforming challenge instead of just like okay, that's the end of the game. Go fight Squidward now. At least give Squidward like three phases, so it's not just a literal like one phase three hit boss at the end of the game. That's that's a big cringe. Like how fucking Pom Pom and fucking Kelp Forest is a harder boss than Squidward at the end of the game, which is kind of fucked progression. Well, Squidward was a very heavy gimmick fight where you had to just wait till you got a wreath blower. And then I mean, it, it, was an okay, it, it was an okay first phase. Well, the problem is, like, it shouldn't have been the entire fight. It should have been a first phase. Like, with, with more phases to come afterwards, you know? Like, hell, even this Glovey fight is more involved than the actual final boss at the end of the game. Like, Cassandra, they, 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 they just didn't use it very well. Unfortunately, but... They made her blatantly evil, which, to be fair, I feel like kind of works in a Spongebob. But, um, they just kind of do the double cross and then go, okay, but you don't actually want to fight Cassandra. I, I'm, I'm fine with Cassandra using Squidward as a goon. Like, I think that's decent, and, like, it's... If that's okay to do, but, like, she, like... It's just too fucking short. It's just too fucking short. I mean, you, like, compare, like... You know, like, any other endgame boss. Like, it's fun of endgame boss. Like, you know, 
Robo Sponge takes like, I mean, Robo Pots is Sponge is two phase and like has a pretty difficult first phase and a pretty difficult second phase, which are entirely different. Mm. Neptune has three phases that are, you know, nine hits each. Um, creature ends with a race, so that doesn't count. Even better. Dutchman ends with a really fucking bad final boss, so that probably didn't count, but... You have a world of friends. I've already seen this. I, have a world of friends. I mean, Dutchman my ended with a Dutchman fight, at least. Yeah, but it was really bad. <laughs> Dutch, know, Dutchman but... is not the comparison to go to for boss fights. I always knew you'd come for me, SpongeBob. But I mean, at least Dutchman did have, like, a big final world. Like, Dutchman's graveyard was, you know, the final boss level. Cosmic Shake doesn't yeah. that. And they all talked about ass and booty. Yeah, booty. Yum emoji. Rolling face emoji. Yep. Also, I think I found out why Luff is a higher chatter than I was. But I'm in more VCs. I think that's what it is. You're just talking out loud instead of... Yeah, I'm talking out loud instead of talking in chat. I gotta find one more coin here. Let's just get it over with. Note to self, don't accidentally do the glove fight again. You know what, I could probably just like, just exit and load an auto save. That'd probably work actually, instead of having to do the fight again. Like there was no reason for me to do that actually, now that I'm thinking about it, but oh well. SpongeBob, I love you. I think the gongs have another challenge. Sorry? The gongs? Like, do you think they have another challenge? I doubt it. I can go look. If, uh... No, that's the same one, I think. Hallelujah, brother. Yeah, no, this is just, uh... Let me just fuck it up so I don't do it again. I appreciate that they have new post-game content. Did you ever get that uh, other coin? The, uh... Spooky World? While I was oh yeah, going? I googled it. It was in fucking Candyville, the one place I thought for sure it couldn't have been. Oh, so you already did that star button challenge? Yeah, I had already done it. I thought I did, but it's being weird. I wish the game was more clear about what you have and haven't done already. Like, if they had a little menu that, like, for each chapter that showed, like, you know, you have collected, you know, two out of three... Well, maybe not tell you where the, the coins are. Why am I going this way? Not, like, tell you where the coins are necessarily, but, like, just, like, indicated that you've already, co like, collected two here. Or, like, when you hit a button, you know, this this challenge has already been completed or something. I mean, you can still do it if Wasn't that makes you happy. Button, but... like, grayed out? Sorry? Aren't buttons, like, grayed out if you do the challenge? No, I don't think so. They still, like, twinkle and shit. Oh, there it is. I don't even know how I got over here, but... Alright, well, that's Glove World completed. Oh, costume 5, let's go take a look. Eh. Oh, Plankton the Patty Sealers, Krabby Road, base reference. Uh, Clams, good reference. Yes! Okay, Hippie Bob, it is. That's a good one. All right, well, we're done. We're done with this. Which way should we go now, Bestie? Do you want to go to, um... Do you want to go to Wild West or Medieval next? Which which way you want to go around the horn? Uh, Wild West. Medieval fucking sucked, so... Damn, that's harsh. And that was okay. We should find some half of it was slides, and the other half was find the button. I enjoy it. You don't have the dash in this first auto scroller. Interesting. Why does Bob look like Shama Lama? It's Hippie Bob. All we're trying to say is give jellyfish fields a chance. Oh, better find that juice. 
Oh, that was the one where Plankton was like trying to build a mega highway, right? That went over. Yeah, it's part of the um, left stand. Yeah. It went through Jellyfish Fields and didn't like go over the Krusty Crab and straight to the Chum Bucket. Yeah, the Shelly Super Highway. The one thing I'll say is, um. I also I wish that Balloon Patrick also got costumes when uh, when Spongy gets costumes. Like if like if he also looked like a hippie right now, that'd be kind of funny. But I don't know. I wish Balloon Pat was more of a character in general because he barely does shit. But it is. He's kind of just like what they throw for, in for like comedy jokes at some points. Yeah, he, he's literally just here for like buddy cop commentary. That's all he really does, which is fine. But I don't know. I mean, he was a big part of the marketing. Out. Sorry? Yeah, I'm wondering if I punched out of work. I did. I'm gonna go some dinner. Uh, Aw, fucking Jake, man. I know, it's kinda fucked to have dinner at 12 a.m. I mean, you work second shift. Like, you're on a different schedule. It's not that fucked. Yeah, I have breakfast at like 12. I have lunch at 6. 30 and I have dinner at 12. Yeah, I mean that's like for, for working second shift. I'd say that's normal I I don't get how The people who I work with They go to work And they complain about being tired They're able to go to sleep at 12 a.m. It's like, I'm still up for another two hours, at least. Like, complaining about being tired at the end of the day, or...? They complain about being tired, like, all out throughout the day. Dang. I mean, I don't think I like, could do second shift. That would fuck my sleep schedule super hard, but I'm also a wimp. Like, one of the girls I work with was complaining that she was too tired to move uh, any more tables or do any more work. And it's like, you have the shortest run out of all of us. Why are you complaining? Yeah, cringe. Sloppy Joe's or darn what? I'll do Sloppy Joe's. Peanut butter sandwiches don't sound great right now. You really are my best friend. I can go for a peanut butter sandwich, honestly. Get it? Get that shit on wheat bread. It's like... Yeah, I, I have nice. peanut butter and wheat bread here. I, 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 that is the thing I can do if I wanted to. I remember I used to love the shit out of white bread. And I'm like, how the fuck could I love that? We were all basic at one point, Bestie. It's like... I don't know, I was probably one of those kids that was like, I don't like wheat bread, it's too spicy. Oh, do you gotta bubble these guys, right? He has a bubble, those guys. Oh, I'm gonna do the button again. I'm gonna get you button. Eeyoink. He's going to the bar and smack the ass of the performers again and get a trophy. Do I? The yeah, ass smacking trophy? No, I, gotta, I, I don't think there is a second trophy. I gotta put my maid costume back on for that shit so I look like a femboy. Can we talk about the over sexualization of femboys? Yes. I think they're over-sexualized. Agreed. Oh, he's not done. And it's a largely by straight men who are gay, but they don't want to admit they're gay. Real. Where did the maid custom go? There it is. I'm going back to Femme voice, Fodge. Femme Bob. I wish, had, I, I wish there was thigh height SpongeBob as an option in this game. Why do you keep calling Bob she? Hmm? You keep calling Bob she. I don't know, it's funny to call Maid Bob she. You realize Bob is a key, right? And he's not trans. Well, I realize SpongeBob doesn't exist. I'm sorry you had to learn this way, but. <sighs> Next thing you know, you're gonna tell me Santa Claus is. No, Santa Claus actually is real. It's um, it's a conspiracy by big fucking presents to make parents buy shit when they think Santa isn't real. 
it's a conspiracy by Coca-Cola. Exactly. Why do you think that they're so like buddy buddy with Santa Claus? This is, you 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 finally you've opened your third eye, bestie. How do we get up here? Oh, I'm going backwards right now. I don't like when the music cuts out like this. It's like awkward. Imagine being Saint Nick. Yeah. And then, like, you come back to life during Christmas just to find out your image has been, like, mirrored to some capitalistic corporate shit. I don't know, I think Santa's cute. I wouldn't mind being Santa Claus. Yeah, but Santa, like, Saint Nick probably didn't look like that. You know, I probably didn't, but I don't know, it's funny. It's humorous. Oh, that's the button I already hit. Alright, I'm backtracking right now. Let's go. Let's keep on rolling, 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 rolling. What? The Limp Biscuit song. Doesn't he say what after the rolling, though? Oh, does he? I thought he did. He might, I don't know. Alright, bestie, how much heat can you handle in your food? I don't know. So you well, I mean, like it, a... well, it depends what you mean by handle. Like, I, I can eat spicy food fine, like, I'm not, like, a lightweight, but I just don't, like, enjoy it very much unless there's a reason for it to be spicy. Like, if it's curry or something and it's spicy because, like, there's more spice and shit, I'm into that, but if it's just, like, stupid fucking hot wings where the only point is to be spicy, then it's just dumb. I, um, if I ever go to B-dubs, I will, uh, get french fries. Yeah? What? Sorry, <laughs> go ahead. No, what's wrong with me calling it B-dubs? I, I, like, I, I, I don't know, I just, like, new people in Hensville, like, yo, man, you wanna go to B-dubs? It's like, uh, I don't know. Anyway. Yeah? If I ever go to B Dubs, I get your chicken tenders with a side of French fries, and then their hottest uh, like liquid sauce, and then I'll dip my French fries in. So shiny. Do you like spicy yeah. food? Is what I'm, I'm gathering. Adventure within our adventure. Double adventure. As like a side thing. It's a main meal. I don't want it, like, overly spicy to the point where I'm going to destroy my colon three hours later. Relatable. That's a golden spatula over there. What's the point of those? They're not even tracked. I can't, I can't even swag out to my friends that I just collected all the golden spatulas. Do you get something from the golden spatulas other than just the uh, da 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 noise and like a Wow, you played Battle for Bikini Bottom too. You're so cool. This entire game is like, did you know that Battle for Bikini Bottom exists? Like, no, oh, no way, dude. Okay, I'm gonna stop being toxic. Well, I mean, that's what happens when you have a sequel. To a game. Wait, I think, am I supposed to hit the button? Maybe I'm supposed to hit the button. I mean, this is, a, this is not a sequel to BFBB. I mean, it probably is, but that's kind of cringe. I think Spongebob games should be treated like the episodes of Spongebob, where each game is like its own canon, and then the timeline resets after the game is over. I, I like the maximalist approach, where you just, like, you, you believe that, like, like, every single episode in video game and every, like, piece of official Spongebob media can, like, all fit together in a coherent storyline somehow, and you just, like, try to fit the pieces together. No, I don't yes. believe in that. I believe in that. Everything, everything, everything that was like official SpongeBob actually happened. Okay, when is uh, my life as a teenage Gary in the timeline? Where's that fitting? Um, he goes to a snail deconstruction surgeon afterwards, and why wasn't that an episode? 
because it was boring. He just showed up and he made him wait for a few hours, and then they did the procedure. It costed him uh, seventeen thousand dollars because health insurance in Bikini Bottom is really shitty, and um, then that was the episode. All right, what about uh, the fact that there are three different Neptunes? Sticky sweet. Um, there's um, they're they're each Neptune's sons, right? That it's like King Neptune the first, King Neptune the second, King Neptune the third. So like the the original right. Neptunes like die, and their sons replace them. What about Mindy? Where'd she go? Uh the the, mo the first movie is the very last thing that happens in the timeline. All right. What about Battle for Bikini Bottom? I mean, the the game is more or less returned to normal after that happens. So, what about Cosmic Shake? The game doesn't return to normal after it. Cosmic Shake happens after the first movie, and the the um the Krusty Krab. You just said the movie was the, the end of the timeline. Well, except for Cosmic Shake, because what happens is the Krusty Krab two um. Fell into one of the voids. So that's just what that's just why it's not here. You're fucking like anecdotal. Uh, oh yeah, this could be explained away by some obscure shit. This is what I'm saying. It all fits together if you're just willing to put in the effort. I mean, only 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 like you know, virgins are like. Uh, well, this actually contradicts uh, season three episode butthole where they say like you know, no one cares. Uh, what about the episode uh, Bubbles? Where's that one fit in? The episode what? The Bubbles Stand episode. Where's that fit into the timeline? I mean, where does that fit into the timeline? Where does it fit into the timeline? I don't know. Somewhere in the middle. Why does it matter? Like, there's nothing that happens in that episode that's, like, life changing. Squidward, Squidward learns how to blow a bubble. Yeah, and then he abuses the power and pays the consequences, and as a result, never does it again. What is the consequence? Oh, I'm going the wrong or... way here. I'm stupid. What's up? What's the consequence? I forgot. Didn't he, like... He Doesn't he end up in, like, a giant bubble and, like, float away? I don't think so. Just look at that How do they get him out of the giant bubble? Nature. Wait, what? You think they got How would they get him out of the bubble then? If it just popped and he just, and he, he just fell to the ground. Oh my god. And then walked home. The man, like the, the man has survived the nuclear explosion. I don't I don't think it's possible to kill Squidward. I still like the episode uh I saw like a SpongeBob joke where a girl put on water wings and she starts flying away. Yeah, good episode. I don't Fuck, know why, why did he eat my double jump? Fuck you. I hope you get fucking... a mild head cold that's like pretty annoying for several weeks. It's, re it's really... Oh, sure. I, I, sorry, good. Did you go to work today, by the way? I did not, no. I don't go in on Mondays or Wednesdays. I have to go in tomorrow, though. It's gonna suck. Lucky, you don't have to work Monday, Wednesday. No, no, I still have to work. I just don't have to go in. But I work from home. I have to do homework and grading and research and every other fucking shit that gets thrown on my stupid fucking platter. Ah, okay. Hey, hey, Little dibby doopa. That's what I'm saying. Little dabba doo. <laughs> And a free Shivaka do. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Oh, I literally just. Sorry if you can hear me drink. You know, by the way, I'm not trying to get your seahorse washed regularly to protect its outer coat. Oh, I just always let it out whenever it rains. I hate dealing with these guys.
Hey, rude. Um. Well, oh, they're annoying. Consider, like, just not being annoying to deal with. I won't hate you. They're not annoying to deal with. They're cute. Damn, I just, I just like that. Oh, I, shit. I, yeah. I actually got jump scared. Fuck. In what? Dead scare? Dead, Dead scare, space? yes. Yes. White woman jump scare. That was the scariest shit in my fucking life. I know, right? I hated the part when the white woman jumped out at me. Can't wait for the sequel to White Woman Jump Scare. Black middle woman aged, jump scare. No, middle aged white woman jump scare. Because nothing is scarier. Right. True. I said that to one of my co workers mm -hmm. who was a, like a middle aged girl, and she got really bad at me. And it's like, you just say you're jump scaring me right now or something. I love that. Well, I didn't say she was jump scaring me, but I said, like, middle aged white women were always the worst to deal with in a customer service. Damn. Well, they are, it's true. They are, you know. What do you think of when you think of a Karen? You think of a blonde, middle aged girl who's, like, you know, high off of being at home for 70 hours a day. Can I make this? I think I can? Nope. Does it say slap sappy someone? I thought that said sloppy. Never mind. Um Sloppy what? Nothing. Sloppy what? Nothing. Oh, it's a crusty crab. I never noticed that before. What's the crusty crab? It's this. The uh, saloon is shaped like the crusty crab. I'm assuming I don't want to hit the horse. Hit the horse. No. You have something mean against seahorses. For real. How did that miss? Fuck you. Do you have a problem with me being rude to seahorses? Yeah, they're cute. I mean, I'm rude to everything. Cool. You're a cat. Uh... Man, if a funeral parlor and ice cream parlor, that's a good uh, Fest of the West reference. What's the a funeral parlor? Parlor? Funeral, funeral parlor and ice cream parlor. It's a joke from Fest of the West. What's the joke? There's also, there's also in Pest of the West, there's in, in the town of Dead Eye, there's, there's a funeral parlor and an ice cream parlor rolled into one. That was like such a weird one off episode. I enjoyed it. I loved, I loved every second of it. Yeah, yeah Pest of the West is good. SpongeBob is the most lovable, annoying character. I love the joke of, you know, they were just standing around in the middle of the town and then Plankton goes, Well, would you look at the time? And it just turns out to be a high noon, because you always have to somehow force um, conflict at high noon. Well, of course, it's high noon. Wouldn't feel right to do, do your killing on at 11 o'clock, you know. 
what if it, you did your killing at, you know, 12 in the morning? That's 12 in the morning. That's, uh, that's midnight. Yeah. Still technically high noon. Well, actually, it's high midnight, but, you know. No, it's not high noon. High noon is when the sun's highest in the sky. That's The sun is not in the sky. Then. I don't think noon is when the sun's at its highest. Oh my god, it's Briar West Squidward. I was at like one in the afternoon. It was when the sun was at least at its like highest slash hottest. Is that when you do your killing? Well, yeah. Can you kill me? No. Please? No. Ready, please? If you hire a hitman on yourself, then maybe, but... Oh, hello. I would say thank you, stranger. You're gonna have to pay me money. But for what? Well, uh, yeah, well, if I'm dying, I don't care anyway. Eight million dollars. Why is his name Jeff Tentacles Jr.? Is there, like, a reference here I'm not getting? Is, is there a reference? Is there somebody who has a name like Jeff something Jr. and this is, like, a joke? Or they just name him Jeff? Ceremony? Like a wedding? Or a birthday party? Sorry, what are you saying, but? <gasps> Can we have some, please, Squidward? Who the trench is Squidward? My name is Jeff Tentacles Jr. Can you name it Jeff? It's a party, mold brain. It's a commemoration. I love the hat full of fucking arrows. He's had a bad day today. You there, Rep? For the late Billy the Bass. The last... Oh my god, it's Bubble Bass! That's a good reference. Look at this. This is a disaster. Don't you worry, Squidward. Dude, Jeff. Us cowboys always stick together. Oh, please. If you two are cowboys... Yes! Yes! Girl. Yes, you are. You are, Betsy. I've seen the photos. Yes. Yes. Yes, Queen Slay. If only two Samaritans could tidy up before the mourners arrive. Until then, I guess I'll have to keep this You forgot the pickles! Really? It, it should say that. You forgot the hot sauce or something. I'll clean this mess up for you. What a great idea you independently developed here. You go ahead. I'll be over there in the shade, relaxed, uh, thinking. Thinking about your cowboy needs. Whatever. Oh, I was having fun, but here comes back, tub boy. His name is Jeff. What are you? Everything tidy? Great! Now get so I can take a nap before the mourners arrive. And everything? I, you know what, I appreciate the effort to have like a new, an extra cutscene and shit. The Psycon is still a bit lacking. Well, honestly, it's not terrible. I mean, BFBB just had socks, right? And I'd say most of the hidden stuff here is about on the level of Patrick socks. So, you know. A little dab will do you. Where do we get back? Ready to jump? Something like that, yeah. I don't know how other people get over there, mind you, but... Can I ride this horse? Oh, cringe. 
Keep your eyes peeled for that. I feel like I see that bandit guy somewhere else. I don't think we know. Little do you know. Why are we still saying that? He's already captured. Can I go? Can I go talk to Sandy again? Do I have to do this, this stupid fucking drinking mini game again? Yep. Oh, oh! I almost forgot to do something very, very important. Hey, boys! This, 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 hit, this hits extra hard with SpongeBob in a maid outfit. Let me just say. It should be a category. Is it a category just to like speedrun that slap these guys' ass? Because if not, it should be. Wake me up inside. Can't yeah, wake up inside. No, I can't. Sorry. Let's get a big glob. I literally like have infinite jelly, pretty much. Like I think I can buy any costume I want. It's public speaking. Probably. I'm actually not terrible at public speaking. I'm worth it to speaking normally. PewDiePie, care for a tune about the red-handed bandit? The red-handed bandit? Do tell! Oh, the cactus juice and Manta Bay made every day feel sunny. Till an outlaw came a riding through to make a little money. Is she just singing acapella? I thought this was going to be a bit more of a production. Okay. Red-handed bandit. He robbed us of our juice and left our barrels dry. That vile, twisted, tight-fisted, money-grubbing, land-loving, red-handed bandit. This red-handed bandit sounds like one bad dude. I appreciate how the bitch is playing a, a player piano. Don't worry, lady. We'll find more cactus juice and bring it back to Manta Fey. <laughs> afraid of these bandits. I'm just a conformist. We got cactus soda and no bandits. Sweet job, little dude. Wish I knew where that red-handed bandit ended up. Long as he ain't around here, I reckon. Why is Fred, why is Fred just bartending here with like his modern jeans and shit? That's everything in the salon. I had a project in class one time, get docked because my leg was itchy when I presented. Fuck that teacher. here the first time and like did not give a shit about gold coins and that's all i'm here for that's it right now we need to refresh. we need to find spot as well that's back the way i came i guess yeah they have made up at one god i really should do that i've kind of looked at getting one but i mean i don't i hardly like, but well, I say cross-dressing. It's not literally not cross-dressing. I hardly ever dress like a girl anymore anyway, because I'm too fucking depressed, so. God damn it. Can you respawn? Pretty please? No. Okay. No, not usually.
I'd go. A vain man will break his arm patting himself on the back. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean, but okay, sure. Oh, is that it's like a shortcut? Where do you go, buddy? Patrick jump scare. This is this is like a little shortcut there. It's like that's like that's like an in, intentional shortcut. I mean, assuming this is intentional because it's really easy to do. Is this the one that goes way up to like the top here? No, this no. Oh, we're at the top. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm just like mega fucking depressed right now. I just sleep like 14 hours a day. I don't do shit. And I don't go outside, basically. Kind of epic. Wouldn't recommend. Ago. Got a lot coming up this weekend. Anything good? Or just uh, stuff in general? I ordered uh, a couple Yu Gi Oh cards for a deck I'm making. Oh, fun. So they're probably going to be arriving this week or next week. Just like a bunch of insects, basically, and the whole idea is you swarm the board with monsters. Do you get the Zerg get... deck? I guess you can call it a Zerg deck, yeah. I don't have any pylons to construct, exactly. Mm. The last two skulls were gaslighting you. One of them was, but I don't know which. Old Apple, do you? Oh, I'm also uh, going to a horror con. That sounds fun. Hope you enjoy. Yeah. This this next weekend? Yeah. Where is it? Uh. A little dabble, do ya? Jackson. Jackson. I don't know where that is. It's in Michigan. Well, oh, yeah. Hope you enjoy. And yeah, that kind of explains why you don't get it. What? That explains why you don't know where it's at, though, because you've probably never been to Michigan. I haven't, no. That's, those are faces. I think Honestly, I've got everything there is to get here, but what's up? You're not missing anything. Michigan's kind of a nothing state. We got hard cons, that sounds fun. Oh, yeah, but that's like. Not the norm. It's usually fairly quiet. My skin is. I've already went this way. I think I've gotten everything here. 
I'm just gonna keep going and then he's taking a Michigander here. Is taking a Michigander? What? What? what you mean. Who said that? Taylor. Actually, the correct term is Michiganian. I don't know what taking a Michigander means, though. But I'm also stupid, so, you know, keep that in mind. Michigander is a way of saying a person from Michigan. No, no, I know that, but I'm like, I'm saying, like, why, I don't know what taking a Michigander means, like... Having a gander at something means to look at something. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm gay. We all are. Prove it. How would I prove it, aside from sucking dick in front of me? Oh, that's been on the nose. Fair enough. I mean, you're the one that asked me to prove I was gay, so... Fair, fair, fair. So true, bestie. What? What did she say? Uh, the quote that just says, I'm attracted to men. Do we have, like, a logbook of what all the quote numbers are? Nope, you just gotta guess a random number and hope that it's right. I like my quote where it's the one where if you do that again, I'm gonna break into your house and misfile your taxes. That's a good one, yeah. I don't know, that's just like such a personal threat. The big button, I kind of want to go press it. Press the button, bestie. Do it. And if you don't, you have to live the rest of your life as a coward. You, I pressed the button. What happened? I got some shit spawned in. Alright, let me stream it on Discord again for you. I keep forgetting to do that. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Don't apologize. Apologizing is cringe. I'm not cringe, you're cringe. Oh, I'm saying don't apologize if you don't want to be cringe. So then you're cringe. Oh, like a little dab will do ya. Uh, do Have you seen the video? Where it's, uh, Squidward, 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 Squidward. Have you seen the video where Squidward is knocking SpongeBob for drawing? And he calls him cringe and SpongeBob's half back and goes, you're cringe. Like, it feels like it damaged to Squidward. You're, like, Kind of muffled. I don't know if your mic is, like, far away, or... It's a bit hard to tell what you're saying, though. Sorry. I'm sorry. It's probably far away for me. That's better. So okay. Up? Okay. The episode... Or, there's a video where Spongebob is drawing something, and Squidward calls him cringe, and then Spongebob screams back at him, you're cringe, and deals, like, psychic damage to Squidward. Oh, yeah, I love that video. Hey, that video is my fucking mantra. Cat is currently doing the thing where she's standing at my door, scratching at it to get in, but when I open the door, she runs away. Relatable. 
Yeah, so I don't want to get up to chase her, so she's just going to have to live with the fact that she can't have my door open in the middle of the night. My roommate's cat does similar shit. God, I hate this camera. God, I hate this camera. It's because I'm going backwards, but it's scripted to go the other way. Does your roommate's cat try and break into your room? Yes. But why? Because I pet him and he likes it. Does your roommate not pet him? Not really. I mean, he probably does, but... Huh. I don't know. I'm just a better petter. Damn. You basically stole his cat. I did, yeah. He mind him. Does he mind at all? Like, like his cat seems to like you more? No, he doesn't care. He has a dog. You definitely seem more of a cat person, honestly. They're growing on me. I used, to, I used to be Team Dog all the way. I still love dogs to pieces, but cats are definitely growing on me. I am not on Team Dog, and it's going to take a while for me to even consider, like, just being a dog person. Yeah, that's, that's totally fair. You should, like, do what you're comfortable with. Eh. You already know the bot lore, so... Yeah. I mean, you know, you do not have to like dogs. Just like I don't have to like the Godfather, but everyone tells me I should actually. You're love allowed the to like not like the Godfather, Bestie. It's okay. Ow, that would hurt. I don't know. I feel like that Family Guy joke was just on point with every time I tell someone I do not like the Godfather. But you should like the Godfather. The Godfather's like really good and based and shit. Is that a Family Guy joke? Yeah, they're like locked in a cell and he's about to die. He's like, "Well, now that this is happening, uh, I do not care for the Godfather." Like everyone in the family was ta like talking to him, be like, "How do you not like the Godfather? It's a cult classic." He's like, "You never get into it." Hungry bullworm! Seriously! This little worm sounds like a big problem. How old? Yeah, I th who says that? Is it, uh... Says what? Who says the don't care for the Godfather thing? Like, what character? It's not Brian, is it? Uh, Peter. It's Peter. Peter. Mm. It's Peter. Yeah. And Peter, then, uh... Peter Griffin. Lars! I dropped hot coals on my nipples. You need to pinch it off. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. What the fuck? New Zaya kink confirmed? I have every single fetish simultaneously. I bet you're into inflation, but not like... Inflation where bodies are getting inflated. You just like inflation as in... Like, the stock market going up. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Needless to say, it's been a very good year for me. Ooh, more jelly. And boy, are my arms tired. Nice. Why wasn't there an Alaskan bullworm fight? I know, a bit cringe. This game is they missing moments like that. But... They hyped it up so much, and I thought the Alaskan bullworm was gonna be a challenge or like a boss fight, and it just I... wasn't. Never yeah, I think I think it's like cut content, TBH. I have nothing to back that up. It just seems like like, like a thing they, that would be cut. I mean, like, they hyped it up a lot. They're like... I mean, this know, is kind of a bullworm, right? It's not, the, it's not the Alaskan bullworm that's big, scary, and pink. Well, he's pink. He's pretty big. I would argue he's scary. Bestie, he's purple. That's Color pink. 
That is purple. What the fuck are you on? <laughs> Where can I get it? Th that's a purple bestie. That's not. It's a pink. he's pink. Why are you colorblind? I'm not colorblind. You like you like slam on while they're on the way down. And then This fight is actually gonna be rough because that's my bottom on a hard difficulty. I just found out the other day that a bikini bottom is actually a type of underwear. How many, how many coins? I have two coins and one refreshment left. All right. What's a refreshment? Eat no creature. Uh, the drinks we're getting for Squidward. Can I not get on the train anymore? I can't. You can't, you can't go to the train at the end? Or do you have to go there from the mine somehow? Or is there no way to replay the train section? What the fuck? You can replay every other boss in the game, but you can't retell the, replay, replay the train? Is that what you're telling me? What is that video? I can't watch right this second. Sorry. Sorry for party rocking. Why must you party rock? I'm in the how tonight. Wait, is it, did you say in the how? Yeah, I'm in the how. I thought I was in the house. Or no, it's in the how. Been... It's party rock in the how tonight. Everybody got to shake your group thing over have a good time You really not replay the train that's actually cringe elevator. There's an elevator. Oh Assuming this is it I was gonna say if I can't get to the train I'm gonna complain because I kind of like that part I'm assuming this is the elevator No, this isn't an elevator. This is the fucking platform Where's the elevator? Elevator Where's the elevator? I just my dream to make a platformer like this one day. I'm gonna do it. Fuck. Let's promise an elevator. Where's the elevator? Is that the elevator? It looks like an elevator. Can I talk to cow bones here? No, damn. By the power of cosmic silliness, our horseback heroes once again find themselves pursuing a penny pinching bandit. A little dab will do you. Free Shrakadu. What the fuck does that mean, Bessie? You're high. I say this it's, a, it's a meme. I don't do memes. You mean a meme? A meme? We got ourselves a train to catch. I like how he jumps at the horse, but then stops short and shows him his thing. That's pretty good. Oh, so we're trying to free Shavak do. It's just I don't a know fun what that means. To... It's a fun thing to say. Say it. No. Why not? I don't know what it means. Come on, Bessie, say it. No. I don't say things I don't know what they mean unless uh unless I'm paid to do it. 
Hashtag OnlyFans forward slash Rangers fan 1997 backslash. I don't know. Is that an actual OnlyFans? Uh, maybe, I don't know. It has got free advertisement if, if it is. Shout out to the one Zaya person on OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah, with like with like, with like with like two feet picks, and that's it. They tried to live the life, but they eventually gave up. I don't think there's gold stars here. I'm not gonna lie to you. Do they rescue crabs from here, or...? Yeah, they you, rescue? you rescue crabs from here. Okay. I don't, I don't think there's any collectibles here, TBH. Reused animation. It's kind of the animation. True. Technically, every walk cycle is a reused animation. She's thinking with 100% of her brain. Have you seen that in video where the guy like invents like a hat or whatever to think 100% of your brain, and he has like a fucking seizure and dies immediately? Uh. uh... You use 100% of your brain, bestie. No, but like all at once. No, I've not seen that video. Pretty funny. So honestly, that sounds like it would be very traumatic to watch. No, it's it's like a joking video. It's like, uh, like ladies and gentlemen, you know, I've, I've invented a revolutionary device that allows to activate all our brain power, and then he turns it on and just like rolls around and screams on stage for a while. That doesn't sound funny. Well, you don't have to watch it, but... I'm taking this one in. I sure should stop drinking so much cactus soda on the job. Is it gonna boot me back out now? It does. That's cringe. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but... Please, SpongeBob. You have to find me precious treasures. Pearl, the Krusty Krab, and me pennies. I'll even pay you the lot of respect. Where is this pennies? Which which bubble? Alright, Google again. So So these two are done. We've got two coins and one refreshment left in Google Goon. Or not Google Goon, fucking jellyfish shields. But we have we have how much is, that one's still good. This only has four coins? Damn. Bitch, you kind of... Downtown Bikini Bottom was so good. This was the highlight of the game. If, if the game, like, was to this quality throughout the entire thing, it would be, like, a S-tier game. As it stands, it's, like, a A, A- minus game. Still good, but with some flaws. Uh, let's let's go back to Mana Fey. I don't know. For our dear old Anybody have an idea where the last refreshment and the last two gold coins are? Every game like this should benefits from our collectible tracker. Just gonna say that right now. True, true, true. I mean, I know I, know I have 9 out of 10 of coins, and I only have 5 out of 4 out of 5 of refreshments, but I don't know where I've got them so far. Well, I mean, like, it tells you where the collectible is. I feel like some people would bitch about that, but some people bitch about everything, so who cares? I mean, if you're gonna 
play a game, you're probably gonna use a guide for it anyway. Like, uh, if you're not hardcore like me, maybe. You looked up an answer already, bestie. You can't use that as an excuse. I did not prove it. Literally prove it. You literally told me, and I probably could watch back on the VOD and see you pull out your phone and look up where the coin is in uh, the, the Halloween town. And you got no proof. He's making stuff up, besties. Don't trust her. One of us is telling the truth right now, and the other one is lying. I'm not going to tell you which one. Oh, it couldn't be me. See, I hate going around stuff a second time because you find like these little alleys and you don't remember if you've done them or not already. Like, I've already done that one. I think it was a gold coin, but like, I don't remember doing it until I do it. I'm like, oh yeah, I already did this. And it peak. You know what? Alright. I'm going to, um, just, uh, check something really quick. Don't listen to her bestie, she was looking it up online. Find the main building. Where? In the... So I just had a stroke of genius inspiration. She's lying. Never lied. I would never lie to you, bestie. Wait, this isn't right. This is not what this, the game said. I must have got that one already. That's not what my intuition said, is what I'm trying to say. If you believe her, you're trusting a liar. I've never lied before. I'm gonna take damage. Fuck you. Holy oh. shit, he took out my entire health. That was fun. I knew I could count on you, Patrick. Oh, look at me. I'm, I just came up with this all by myself, it being down here. I'm really smart. This my huge Woodward's crew. I think we're being misled here, besties. I'm pretty sure she lies. Holy shit, the jellyfish has tits. What? The jellyfish has tits. Thanks for placing it right where he's about to shoot, Pack. Yeah, I think of the jellyfish too. I do. Thank you. We have one last gold coin, but I don't know where it is. Check it out, SpongeBob. That's a rootin' tootin' do. I'm feeling home on the range. I'm gonna finish this level, we'll get this last gold coin, and then that's it for today. What's up? Is it just me, or am I hearing the Krusty Krab theme in this song? The what? The Krusty Krab theme in this song. 
Most things are better than a. So true, Bessie. Um, what's the, what do you mean by the Krusty Krab scene? Like, you know the song with the, like the whistles and stuff that you should play when you're at the Krusty Krab and uh, the show. Oh, the, the Ray Corn Pipe or whatever. Good, good. Yeah. Yeah. Does it hang? I feel in... like I, I feel like I hear it in the song so or when you're in the town. I feel like there should be a thing here, but there's not. Maybe I already got it. Oh, thank you, Patrick. Thank you. I'm using guides because I don't want to be here for like all day, you know. So, if I were using guides, I'm not using guides. But if I were to use guides, that would be my motivation. Anybody see a gold coin? Why don't you look it up like you did with the other stuff? I didn't look anything up. This is slander. You're slandering me, bestie. It's cringe. You shouldn't do that. You do care. I don't know why I thought it was going to be down there, but... Like, did you hear that? What? In the song. Uh, you have to point it out again when it loops around. Uh, it's hard for me to because it happens for like two seconds. It's not like the whole song. Well, it grabs this level, so that would make sense. Balance beams are lame. I mean, thankfully there's not that many of them in the game, but they're still lame. like item shit because this game is pretty difficult without them. Items pinch it. Largo's black tip.
Oh, well, I just make my ride. Feels like there should be a coin up here, but there is, it doesn't seem like there is. I'm the one. Uh, I mean, not I'm, even hiding it. I'm using the powers hiding. of my Con intuition. 4K. Con 4K. Um, I'm just typing some inspirational quotes to make me um think better. While while West Jellyfish feels coin locations, that's what that's what my brain is working on right now. Oh damn! All right, I know, I, you know what? I would not have gotten that. It's during the fucking writing section. The first one. Second one it was puff. I'm glad I I'm glad I used my powers of intuition to learn where that is because I was gonna be here fucking forever if I didn't do that. What do you have to do to get the, uh, coin? You have to, uh, it's up on that hill over there on the right. Right here. There it is. Alright, well, that's all the coins. Um, let's go talk to Squad. No, I, I love the upskirt we get every time. Ah, that's much better. I guess I have to thank you now, huh? I'm just glad I could help one of my best friends in the whole world. Does he world. give you a uh, the world is so wide, I'm outfit? sure you can pick a new friend. I don't think so. Nice to the coin trench. Oh, we got tier six though. Alright. Skeleton Bob, classic. Rehydrated Bob, fuck you. Elf Bob, a classic. Elves are too righteous. See, I would fucking kill for Balloon Patrick to be in his fishnets and fucking high boots right now. You're always waiting for Patrick to be in his fucking fishnets. Okay, and am I wrong? I'm literally not, okay? So, it's a good costume, actually. I'm just saying, we have a bonky moat for a reason. I need to redo that one, I don't like it. I'm telling you, do the spinny lizard. I don't want to bonk him, though. You already did this challenge, by the way. Why not? Is that, that's cringe. I'm not cringe. I'm based. Well, sometimes the spinny lizard is horny, so you gotta bonk him. No, he's asexual. How do you know? I, asked I mean, also, you can be asexual uh, and still be horny. That's true. But he's, uh, he's not, I don't know. Oh, fun. Where, where did the thing drop? Why did my balls drop? There we go. Little dabble do you? Mm, oh, so I thought finding the coin would be the last thing you did. Yeah, I'm gonna do this and then it'll be the last thing. I just did this because I was like running around like as I was ending and just saw the thing that I can now do. So.
Damn, you're making me do some platforming tonight, yes. All that for a sticky note, or yeah. what is that? It's sticky note. That's the that's the collectible this... in the overworld. Patrick's What's sticky even note. on? What are it's on the? Um... They're they're his giant sticky notes. That's how he takes notes. I really like this outfit, actually. Good one. Alright, well, that is it for me. It's been fun today. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna go home now. Um, 